So if you are looking for some fun activities for the kids this summer before they head back to school, look no further than the Kentucky Science Center where science comes alive and imagination soar. They have this new permanent exhibit to hands on workshops and they have just about everything you need to fill the oh, what are we going to do now this summer? That's right? right. That's what That's happens right. in July. I know this. <laughs> Joining me now with more on everything that they have there is Justin uh, McGaw from the Science Center, right? Like congratulations because you guys have this new permanent exhibit. That's right. Uniquely that human our entire Love third it. floor brand new renovated exhibit great experience uh, for for youngers it is mostly focused towards that older audience those mm -hmm. kind of preteens going into even adults so it's a lot of fun it has I, I like too which I don't think any science center has really accurately addressed like you have even to like mental health that's right right like it's just it gets you engaged but gets you talking about that's important right. things yeah, like that yeah that that conversation is so important yeah. and, and this this exhibit drives that uh, every single day every single visitor all right, for the little ones, if you walk through the museum, what's so great is that everything you have there from your workshops to things that are out on the on the main floor, yep. very interactive. Yeah, everything's hands on. Yeah, that's our, that's our big that's thing. That's how if you learn. Too hot outside, too rainy. Perfect place to be, just like you said. So it is. we have one of those activities here. So this is our cloud in a bottle. Okay. Uh, so we're going to put on our safety goggles, yes, just to make sure we're nice and safe. Yes, we uh, are. And what this showcases is basically how our clouds form in the sky around us. Okay. So what we're going to do is, as we press this little knob at the top, okay. it is actually increasing the pressure inside our container. Yeah. And as we increase pressure, we increase heat. And what we're going to do is we're going to rapidly cool this heat and okay. the molecules inside, and we're going to see a cloud form. And what we're going to do, you're going to see your thumb going to hit that part right there. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. Look at that. There you go. Beautiful. That's right. So you can see as it starts to cool down and settle, uh -huh. it starts to go back to, to normal. To that's right. There. So that's your fog. That's your cloud. I like it. So now we're going to make a future a, weatherman <laughs> out there, weather woman. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So now we're going to make uh, a little bit more fun, a few more clouds. Okay. So we're going to use our liquid nitrogen. Now we do our activities. We're open seven days a week. Mm -hmm. We do demos every single one of the days. I'm just going to pour a little bit of liquid okay. nitrogen into our container here. And you can see that smoke boiling off. And what's actually happening is, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of our boiling water in. And you can see it is rapidly cooling the air feel around it. it. Yeah, you can, you can feel, feel it, it exactly. It is actually, it's so cold, it's about a 500 degree difference from our liquid nitrogen to our boiling water. And as it cools down, it cools the air molecules around it and creates a cloud as well. So some different ways that we can make right? some clouds. How many times a day do you do these? Uh, well, we do demos about once or twice a day on the weekends. We try to get in two a day. Yeah. And what we'll actually do is we'll pour that liquid nitrogen, we'll dump that hot water, and it'll make a big explosion in the middle of They'll, our atrium. Uh, they love that. Yes, it right? is so fun much fun. For the, I think the adults too. Exactly. Exactly. Is it safe to take off the goggles yep, there? Yep, you're all good. And, you know, and after you check out like any of the exhibits and in the workshops and things like that, you all also have the IMAX theater. Yes, yeah, so our four-story digital theater. Mm. So come on by. You can watch a movie. We have educational films, 45-minute films. Um, you know, we have the exhibits. We have the demos. We have classes. We have camps going on right now. It is nonstop fun. How long do your camps go on before yeah, the start so of school? Yeah, so our camps go all the way through about the first week of August, which oh, is perfect. really great because uh, JSBS is not quite in session yet. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of camps wrap up at the end of July. So we get to do our camps all the way through kind of the beginning of August. It's really helpful for some of those parents to have another option. It is, I feel like we do, like a lot of people go and do their vacations in June. Yep. We get to July and we're like, what do we do now? Exactly, what do exactly. We do now? So we continue to have our fun all the way through August. Um, you know, we even do traveling programs. We go out mm -hmm. to schools, we go in, into different places. Uh, we try to bring the science, we're the State Science Center, Kentucky Science Center, so we try to represent the Commonwealth as much as we can. All right, Justin, thank you so much for yes. stopping by. Once again, they're open seven days a week, so you have plenty that you can plan there with the kids uh, throughout the month of July. Uh, and of course, their camp's heading off into August as well. So to plan your visit, just go to sciencecenter.org, kyscienceCenter.org.